Number seven ministries. The Spirit of the Lord is on me because He has anointed me to preach good news. Hello, welcome to Number Seven Ministries Christian Outreach. Today's short sermon that is called Unrealistic Relationships. Unrealistic relationships and is dealing with people that are brought into your life by God. God is going to place people in your life for just a season and God is going to place people in your life that are supposed to be there for a lifetime. But when you try to force a person that's only supposed to be there for a season and make them a lifetime, you can get into a lot of trouble. And if you try to make someone that's supposed to be there for a lifetime, make them a seasonal person, you can also get in a lot of trouble. So you need God to show us who is who and what role do they have in your life. The first Bible verse that I want to read, and this is a Bible verse that is dealing with relationships. If you're a single Christian and you're not sure who it is that God wants you to marry, God has given you all the answers and all the direction and all the wisdom that you need in the Bible. All you have to do is read it and apply it to your life. But this particular Bible verse, I believe, is one of the most important Bible verses that you absolutely cannot neglect when making a decision about who your partner should be. And the first Bible verse that I'm going to read is 2 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 14. And it says, Be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers. For what fellowship has the righteousness with the unrighteousness? And what communion has the light with the darkness? And this is my question to you. Do you find yourself drawn do you find yourself attracted to unbelievers more than believers? Do you find yourself getting into relationships with people who are not Christians more than you find yourself getting into a relationship with someone who is a Christian? You need to go to God in prayer and ask him to show you yourself and find out why is that. The answer for that I don't have because each person has their own particular issues that God will have to resolve. And until God resolves it, you're going to find that your relationships are going to continue to fail over and over and over because you're trying to mix oil with water. And you can shake it up for a moment. You can try to force the relationship to work. But if God didn't put that person there, it's going to be like oil and water. And over time, the oil is going to surface to the top and the water is going to surface to the bottom. And that's how it is with a Christian and a non-Christian. The two don't go together. Even if it looks like they go together for a moment, it's just a moment. The next Bible verse that I want to read is Proverbs chapter 4, verse 23. And it says, Keep thy heart with all diligence, for out of it are the issues of life. The Bible is saying, guard your heart with all diligence. That means with all your might, with all your strength, with everything that you have within yourself, guard your heart. When you get into a relationship with another person, God is telling you, you do not give that person your heart until after you get married. And that is why divorce rate is over 40% of all marriages end in divorce in America because they give their heart to the other person when they weren't supposed to. They've given their heart to the person before they got married and they didn't even know who they actually married until it was already too late because when you give your heart to another person before you get married, this is what's going to happen you will be blinded by emotions you will be blinded by sensual desires and you will not be able to accurately see the problems that the other person has you will not be able to accurately see the spirit or the spirits that are in the other person and you won't even know what you're dealing with you won't know what you're engaging in and god wants to protect us from making choices out of emotions God wants to protect us from making choices out of desires. The next Bible verse that I would like to read is 1 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 5. Therefore judge nothing before the time until the Lord comes, who will both bring to light the hidden things of darkness 
and will make manifest the counsels of the hearts and then shall every man have praises of God see the Bible says judge nothing before the time if you're in a relationship with another person you don't know about that person whether they are the good person or the bad person you don't know whether they're of God or they're of Satan. you don't know whether they're a Christian but not the Christian for you you don't know if you've not given God enough time to let you know because in time a person will tell you who they are if you listen to what they're saying if you listen with a sober mind not being deluded by emotions and desires in time what is in the heart it will come out so you can't make a choice before the time because you will cheat yourself out of an opportunity to fully know who you're getting involved with and to fully know what you're signing up for with a lifetime commitment you want to know accurately before it's too late and see there are heart attacks that can be ultimately prevented if you lower your cholesterol if you lower your blood pressure if you exercise these are preventative measures that will keep you from having a heart attack and most of the time people do not do the preventative measures until after they have a heart attack until after it's too late but this is the thing there's no guarantee that you're even going to survive the heart attack there's no guarantee that you're actually going to survive the divorce some people will backslide permanently after a divorce some people will backslide and turn away from god and go into drug addiction they'll go into uh physical abuse uh uh, sexual abuse, uh, drug addictions, going to prisons, jails, all kinds of things will happen. But these things can be prevented if we follow the wisdom that God has given us. God bless you and Number have a wonderful seven day. Number seven ministries, the spirit of the Lord is on me because he has anointed me to preach good news to the poor.